Hey, everyone, Dr. Morales and my lovely coordinator, Linda Marquez. Hi, guys. So we're back at it again this week. So topic of the week of my educational series on a weekly basis um, about plastic surgery. So again, these, these videos are not to sell you anything. I'm just here to help. Mm -hmm. And if you're considering cosmetic surgery and actually hear from someone who actually does it and not, not just read something on the internet. So the topic of this week is pros and cons of breast augmentation. So I don't have breast implants. <laughs> But Linda does, and she's had the surgery, and so I'm gonna kind of let her take over the pros, and then I'll kind of chime in and talk about the cons that I've heard um, from patients who came in. So right, so pros, you know, I had breast augmentation done with Dr. Morales uh, years ago, and so for me, it was more for um, you know self confidence to feel good about myself, and so that breast augmentation just did that for me. Um, you know, the way I wear clothes now is different. Um, it just really builds your self-confidence so you, you feel kind of better about yourself. That Those are mine for me. And the no bra club, of course, yeah. you know? When I can get away with no club, uh, no bra in, in my, you know, dresses, I'm number one to do that. <laughs> and I love it, so. <laughs> okay, so those steps, you got it from her. And then mm -hmm. this is what she does pretty much every day when we have these discussions, and so, I would say that's consistent, what she's told me, what she just said to what I've heard from patients as well. Mm -hmm. um, cons, so actually kind of hard to find cons, but we kind of, I would say they're concerns. Mm -hmm. So the number one concern is that it's a foreign device and I'm freaked out about having a foreign anything in my body. Mm -hmm. Totally valid, I can sympathize with that. Um, I need to reassure that these implants are made extremely safe. Um, they're the most engineeredly I guess engineer tested devices in, in the human body. Like they've done so much more uh, safety precautions and requirements to make sure these devices are safe for the human body. And there's only three vendors in the United States in the world or something, I think over 20 now. So in the United States, you're gonna get a, a great product that's been mm -hmm. tested repeatedly for safety and performance. Um, these these uh, devices are safe. So they're made of silicone. There's a silicone outer bag that your body sees and what's inside is what's different. So there's implants that are saline filled, which is a liquid of water, basically water, and there's also silicone gel. So your body actually sees what's on the outside, which is a silicone rubber bag. So that substance, for the most part, I would say it's inert. So that's what the devices that are placed in your body, if you're made of silicone or some kind of titanium alloy that our body does not react to. So that's concern number one. Concern number two is I'm scared about having a scar on my body. Mm -hmm. I am not a magician. <laughs> I cannot magically put these in, these implants into your body without an incision on your body. It has to go somewhere. Depends on the size of the implant. So, you know, if you want these crazy big implants, they're, the incisions will be a little bit bigger. We try to place these incisions in, you know, concealed parts of the breast, typically some of the breast folds or sometimes around the areola. You know, some surgeon put in the armpit. It just, it's all about concealing these scars. and. I would say for the most part, breast scars heal very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. You're going to have almost an imperceptible scar. Would you agree? Absolutely. Actually. Like with mine, you can't even see it. I really have to just lay down and kind of right. pull my breast up so you can actually see it. So it heals well. So they heal great. You know, I wouldn't, you know, we just I have to make an incision on somewhere. Okay. So um, concern number three, let's see. General anesthesia. Mm -hmm. So the anesthesia question comes up a lot. People are just absolutely freaked out of their minds about having anesthesia. And I've done a video on this before, an educational video on this before with my anesthesiologist, and I, you know, I gotta reassure you that these, this is a very, very, very safe procedure. General anesthesia in the United States um, is extremely safe. The medicines are the best in the world, I would say. Um, in my practice, we use um, board-certified anesthesiologists who administer the surgery and the anesthesia. I, for me, I'm, I'm very comfortable with that. I'm a huge fan of that. Um, so the surgery itself, breast augmentation is straightforward. You know, it's usually less than an hour. I would mm -hmm. say most surgeons can do the surgery in, in under an hour um, safely and efficiently and quickly and uh, give you a great outcome. And then um, I think those are the big mm -hmm. cons, concerns, I would That's say right. patients have uh, with breast augmentation. Um, if you have any more, just let me know, but hope we answered kind of the big ones that we've kind of pros and cons of uh, breast augmentation. Keep watching. I have another one for you next week. Yay.